I'm Lynn Chaundy and I was the last licensed lay reader at Bilson Mission Church. In 1982, I found myself in a difficult family situation. Having been brought up in the forest, but not actually born here, I returned with my daughter to live in Valley Road. I had originally trained as a primary school teacher in the early 1970s and subsequently trained to be a licensed reader in the Church of England, but in the Derby Diocese. God works in mysterious ways his wonders to perform. As I soon discovered, my house had been previously lived in by a member of Bilson Mission Church. Walking my daughter to Bilson Infant School from September 1984, I passed the church, but as it had no notice board at the time, finding out when services and other activities happened was not easy. Eventually, by going over to the building on a Sunday morning, I discovered Sunday school happened at 10 o'clock, and my daughter subsequently started attending it. In 1984, there was also a 9am monthly Holy Communion service and a monthly Book of Common Prayer service at 3pm, which we started to attend. In 1985, I was re-licensed to serve as a reader as a part-time voluntary position in the parish of St Stephen's with Bilson Mission Church, and thus began my ministry in the area that has continued to this day. These days I take services monthly at Hanover Court in Valley Road and also at St Ethelbert's Church down in Little Dean. I'm also involved in a Christmas carol concert at Hanover Court which is something we did also at Bilson Mission. Over the 30 years I've led services and was involved in other activities there, like Bible studies, fellowship meetings, coffee mornings and luncheons, one of which we held to celebrate the late Queen's Diamond Jubilee in June 2012. Annual coach outings in July were also enjoyed by members from Bilson Mission Church, and others from St Stephen's Church, St Ethelbert's Church and St John's. My mother was brought up as a Methodist and her grandfather was a Methodist lay preacher in Hampshire in the 1880s, so perhaps all this preaching is in the genes.